Beyonce and Adidas officially end their partnership after claiming a Ivor Park clothesline saw a huge loss in sale. Beyonce and Adidas have officially parted ways, according to the Hollywood Reporter. While it may be surprising to fans, the news comes just one month after it was claimed that the singer Ivor Park clothesline had been underperforming and so drastic decline in sales last year. Per the reputable publication, there have been creative differences between Beyonce and Adidas, resulting in the business relationship fizzling out. Father said that Beyonce wants to reclaim her brand and chart her own path indicating that she may opt out of partnering with another brand again seeing that this is her second time cutting ties with a company supporting Ivy Park. Beyonce debuted her first IP collection in 2016 when she partnered with the British billionaire Sir Philip Green of Topshop before cutting tie with him in 2018 by buying him out of her clothes line to acquire 100% ownership. The timing of Adidas and Beyonce ending their work relationship seems pretty interesting, given that it was just two months ago when the formation singer began testing new apparel Lifted from Ivory Park, titled Parker Trial, but what fans didn't know at the time was it was going to be her last release with the German based company. Societies, are you shocked to see Beyonce and Adidas part ways? In a previous report by the Washington Post, sale for Beyonce Ivory Park line were said to have been worryingly low with so telling the outlet that while Adidas has hoped to make around 250 million US dollars in 2022, Ivor only managed to pull in around 40 million US dollars. Not to mention that all of our sales had decreased by 50% despite constant marketing and many social media campaigns to help drive people interest. Many fans will recall how Beyonce's first collection with Adidas was heavily endorsed by countless celebrities who were sent press packages that were later plugged on their Instagram account. We see with Winter Spoon to Cardi B and Generous and of course Levin Cox. It goes without saying that the promotion campaign behind Ivor Park was in full effective. It goes without saying that the promotion campaign behind the Ivor Park was in full effect. Beyonce reportedly made an estimated 20 million US dollars a year from her deal with Adidas, which is nothing considering she was said to have pocketed 24 million US dollars for a one hour show. To perform in Dubai earlier this year. So why Beyonce clearly doesn't need the money, many people are bound to questions why Ivy Park is failing to make an impact in the world of fashion, but more importantly, what's the next for the clothesline and can it still succeed after two major setbacks?
speaking of our decision to jump into fashion and why it continues to be a huge part of our focus outside of music beyond the previous told early i think having a child and growing older made me get more into health and fitness i realized that there wasn't any athletic brand for women like myself or my dancers or my friends she told helen nothing aspirational for girls like my daughter i thought of ivor park as a idyllic place for women like us